We're going to talk all about perimeter in this lesson, and we'll discuss a little bit of area, too. This is lesson 10.6. A perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. We have a garden here, and if we wanted to know how much fence to buy to go around the garden, we could count the units. Each little line in between the dots is one unit. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen units are around this garden. If each unit was twelve inches a foot, we would know if we wanted to buy a fence to put around our garden, we would need fourteen feet. That's how big and long the fence would be, fourteen feet around, see? If it was a little tiny garden, and this was one inch, then it would be 14 inches. If it was one yard, it would be 14 yards. See, it depends on what the unit of measure is. So this perimeter is 14 units. Each line between the dot is one unit. See, we have one line, two lines, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means our perimeter is 10. It's 10 units around. If it was an inch, it would be 10 inches. If this was a foot, it would be 10 feet. If this was miles, it would be 10 miles. Just depends on what the unit of measure is. All right? So we can find the perimeter of each of these shapes. We just count the number of inches around. And we start at some place where we know where we're going to start. So if we start right here, we have to make sure we don't count it two times. So this is, we're starting right here, okay? One inch, two inch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The perimeter of this triangle would be eight inches. If this was a garden, it would be eight inches around. That would be a very tiny garden, wouldn't it? All right, so we just count the lines in between the dots, and that's our perimeter. What's the perimeter for this shape? Let's count the inches going around. We have to make sure we don't count them twice, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The perimeter is twelve inches. Okay? We can draw a square and a rectangle on these dotted grids. We can use a dotted grid to draw a square and a rectangle. We can make each side of the shapes either one, two, or three units long. And then we can write the perimeter for each one. So the sides can be either one, two, or three units long. Well, if we make a square, a square has four sides that are all the same length. So if I make one side three units long, then that means every side has to be three units long. See? Because that's the definition of a square. It's four sides that are all the same length. What's the perimeter in units? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 units. We count the lines in between the dots and those are each a unit, okay? We could make a square that's two units on one side. That means they all have to be two units, right? Because that's the square. It's got all the same length sides. Now what's the perimeter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See? We can do a rectangle. The instructions say to make it either one, two, or three units long. Now, a rectangle isn't like a square where all the sides are the same. A rectangle has two sides that are the same. So we can make one, one, two, three. And our choices are one, two, or three units long. So we can't go more than three. So we can make it one unit long on each side, and then three units on the bottom. That's a rectangle, right? What's the perimeter? Let's count. On the top, we have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going all the way around, it's eight units. Okay? If we had made it three going across and two going down, we would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units. See? All right. Let's do some problem solving. The number of square units equals the area of each shape. So before we were doing line units. Now we're going to do square units where we're counting an entire square. That's the area. The area is the measure of square units needed to cover the inside of a surface. This is one square unit of area. See? So how many square units are here in this one? We need to count the squares. Before we were just counting lines around the outside for the perimeter. Now we're counting the squares we see. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen squares. So it's fourteen square units. We're not going around the outside edge like a fence anymore. We're counting what's on the inside. That's the area. How about this one? How many squares do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 26 square units. This shape is made out of 26 squares. See? How about this one? How many square units are here? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I could have counted them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I could have counted them going across too, couldn't I have? So that one's 12, that one's 10 square units, okay? So do you see the difference between the area is the squares on the inside and the perimeter is the lines going around the outside? Perimeter is this red line going around the outside. Area is everything that's on the inside. Perimeter is the number of line units around the outside. For this square, there's four units of perimeter. Four little lines, one, two, three, four, going around the outside like a fence. For area, it's the number of square units on the inside. That is just one square unit of area. See? That's four units of perimeter. We would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve square units of area. See? And the area could be a different number than the perimeter because they're two different measures, okay? Sometimes they could be the same, all right? So that is perimeter. It's like a fence going around the outside and how much fence you would need, and area is the amount on the inside, okay? We're gonna talk about making a graph in the next lesson, and we're gonna count colors, okay? I'll see you there, bye.